I'm Professor Sports Cards. This is Bill Russell. You know, I was taught, you know, from guys like Isaiah and guys like Mike that it's all about the championships. Uh, so, you know, Bill Russell has 11 championships. That will never, ever be matched again. Uh, I think the closest to that is Mike with six. So I'll probably have to go with Bill Russell on that. Bill Russell was the second overall pick in the 1956 NBA draft. While he only played for 13 seasons, he won 11 NBA championships. He won a total of five MVPs and was a 12-time All-Star. What can't be measured on this sheet is a testament of how great a leader he truly was. 1957 was the first year Topps printed NBA basketball cards. That's right, the first year. Prior to that, the set was in 1948, Bowman had a print run. But between 1948 and 1957, no basketball was printed. Topps didn't print another set till 1969, so a 12-year absence after this 1957 set. Other than that, Fleer did sneak in one print run, just one in 1961. The 1957 set only has a couple key stars, Bob Cousy being one of them, and his teammate, Hall of Famer Bill Russell. Bill Russell only has three cards printed, that's it and that's all. This is his rookie card, but before we get into that, we need to take a dive back. One of the things he said is, um... At the time, he was dealing with a lot of racial issues in Boston um, and stories, people throwing things at him during the game and yelling you know, the craziest things from on the court. I said, well, how did you deal with it? He said, well, I internalized it. I felt like the best thing that I could do is use that as fuel as opposed to just simply having an emotional outburst to them. I decided to use that as, as energy to enhance my performance. Right? So even though he's, it seems as if he's not, he's tuning out the noise, he isn't. He's hearing it and he's using it. He led the University of San Francisco to two championships. In 13 seasons with the Boston Celtics, he won 11 championships. A record unmatched in any sport. Won two while also serving as the team's coach. Bill Russell, the man, is someone who stood up for the rights and dignity of all men. He marched with King. He stood by Ali. When a restaurant refused to serve the black Celtics, he refused to play in the scheduled game. He endured insults and vandalism, but he kept on focusing on making the teammates who he loved better players and made possible the success of so many who would follow Bill Russell only has three total cards, that's it and that's all. Because of the time frame he played, he has one Topps card and two clear cards out of the 1961 set. Leaving no mistake about it, this card is a grail. But it's one of those unfortunate grails that most of us will never get our hands on. It's going to remain too expensive and, uh, well, enjoy this card if it's in your collection. Here is his base card in 1961 Fleer. What up, everybody? This is Robert Ory, a.k.a. Big Shot Bob, and you're watching Professional Sports Cards. Hey, by the way, go buy my rookie card. These older cards have very limited pop count, very limited cards in high grade, meaning these are expensive and rare cards. It's debatable, but you can consider even this card a grail in the basketball card community. The 1961 set also has in-action cards. As you can see on the PSA slab, it says IA for in-action. These aren't quite as desirable as the base card set, but considering the rarity, anyone would be thrilled to have this card in their collection. Person to bring basketballs to Africa in 1956 on a trip with the State Department. Bill Russell stood with the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. in the March on Washington when Dr. King delivered his I Have a Dream speech. Bill Russell visited Auschwitz with his Jewish friend, the basketball genius Red Auerbach, who seemed irreplaceable as the Boston Celtics coach until Bill Russell replaced him and became the Celtics player coach, the first African-American coach or manager of any major league sports team. The defensive side of the ball, I think I am, I think I'm great in every facet that makes up that side of the ball. And so I think I'm the best defender to ever play in the NBA. And I stand by that. I'll put myself up against anyone. That's just He's crazy. Ever. And whoever, whoever, agrees with ever. Him, whoever agrees with him, I like reminding people some names. Yes. Bill Russell. Mm. Yeah. Like, I, I just, just feel put like I had a big glove with some 
baby powder and just go smack everybody in the world and say, you ain't say Bill Russell. It is that time to go inside the PSA pop count. 1957 Topps is the first year Topps printed basketball cards. This is Bill Russell's rookie. He only has three cards. And as you can see here, there's only, there's under a thousand copies total. This is a grail. If you're lucky enough to get this card in your collection, by all means, get it in your collection. This 1961 Fleer set is iconic. It's almost impossible with these cards in your collection, but if you can, jump on it. There's only a limited amount of copies of Bill Russell rookie cards out there. And what I do best is defend and rebound. So I'm going to completely focus on that. Let Kuzi handle the ball. Right? Let Sam's be the shooter. Havacek be the shooter. And I thought that was a very, very insightful thing um, that I used in how I was able to go on and win those two championships uh, post Shaq. West all along, look at Russell come down. And what a play by There's sports cards, and these are the rankings. On top, we have the GOATs. They're going to carry the most value. They're going to stay in demand for decades to come. Below the GOATs are legends. They're also going to stay in demand, and maybe their value is just a little less, or they have more cards, and so some of their cards are maybe not as rare. You have Hall of Famers who are always going to be Hall of Famers, but Hall of Famers are not quite legends or GOATs. They're not remembered for all time, uh, oh, although they're well-respected and collected. Uh, and then you have your All-Stars and One and Done. One and Done, one card's good enough in your collection. All-Star, maybe you want an auto or an insert, leave it up to you. With all that being said, where does that leave Bill Russell? Well, it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, the guy's got three cards. Each card has about a thousand cards in the PSA pop count. That's nothing. I mean, that's really rare. It's unfortunate because I dislike when we can't... It, these cards are unobtainable for most collectors even most investors, uh, but if you can get your hands on one, it's definitely a grail, any one of the three really. You have to be happy with that. There's such limited pop count. He is a GOAT. 11 championships, three amazing cards. He's got GOAT written all over him. New dimensions to what we were doing out there. Russell used to become physically ill before every ball game. So that was the key that Russell emotionally was into the ball game and that's how much he gave of himself give a like and subscribe let's get to 100 subscribers i have to almost be in a rage nothing went on outside the borderline of the court i could hear anything and see anything and nothing better and i could anticipate every move that every player made so somebody would be dribbling over midcourt and in your head you already kind of knew it was going to happen yeah. West, West all alone. Look at Russell come down. And what a play 